I'm from Missouri. I've never been to Branson, Missouri. Is that fun, you guys? Let me know in the comments if you've been to Branson, Missouri. Oh my gosh, we're so close to 200. We're 180, 94. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get to 200. Woo! That means we're gonna have, go ahead and bake it. We're gonna bake it on low heat so that way she doesn't feel the crunk, as I like to call it. Let's go ahead. That means we're gonna do a winner, winner chicken dinner. We're gonna do a giveaway today. So now I'm gonna put primer on the inside of these. Because these are actually, since I don't do that many nails, these are the first generation pipe. So these are not etched. The newer ones are already etched. And by 2021, all of our nails will be completely etched. And remember you guys, don't just like brush on the primer on the inside of the nail. Make sure you go in and really, really scrub. Yeah, hydrate. Nice manicure. For what? Oh, we give stuff away. Little knickknacks and patty wax and things like that. So today I'm going to show you guys both. We're going to use Miss Flashy and we're going to use Miss DIY. We so killed it. Said, have you ever thought about changing the shape of the bristles? Like attached to the bottle caps, maybe more rounded stuff? I actually don't like rounded bristles personally, so that's why I don't make them round. I'm very old school. When I I have tried rounded bristles before and I was like, I don't like how this feels. That's because I've, I've been using square bristles since day one. 21 years ago, that was a long time ago. They look nice and healthy right now. If you want like a quick natural nail overlay, clear press on gel, you guys. So now we're gonna take clear press on gel on the Edge 23 Go. Apply a nice dollop on the inside. Make sure you have enough. Forty-five degree angle. Press down. And freeze. A little cute. The DIY lamp, and it sells really well. Really? All the time, yeah. Do you see a lot of DIY lamps sold or more flashies? Oh, I do see a lot of DIY. Yeah? Oh, I just remember that the people Because <laughs> you always see them in a box. Yeah. Dang, they do sell a lot then. Yeah, they're a great alternative to the flashy. Look at that. She snatched. So now let's do the middle finger. Forty-five degree angle. Press down. Make sure it's nice and straight. The last thing we want is a wonky nail and freeze. What is the difference between base and Press on gel specifically designed for use with the one two three go system. It's not a base gel. It's not a builder in a bottle, but it can be used as that. It's actually a gel design. How would you describe it? It's like an all-in-one, but it's specifically designed to fuse together and really bond and create one piece of gel, if that makes sense, between the nail plate and the one, two, three, go. And the flashy lamp, the DIY lamp, works with, um, what do you call it? USB, so it's connected to a USB charger right now. Because we're actually working on top of my work desk. And you can see when you press down firmly, you won't get any bubbles. This length is like, she's no joke, can you guys tell? Link. I like how my nose looks 
Oh, like glass? And the pre-etched ones are like, they're frosty or they're frosted. But if you want to just clear nails, you can just do a coat of gel on the inside, whether it be top coat or whatever, and then they turn completely glass clear. It really saves a lot of time and an extra step having to um, etch the inside of the nail, whether you file it or put primer on it. Now they just take them out of the back and you're good to go. I saw somebody said that music. That's the kind of music we play at work to keep their blood pressure up. So that way they can get more orders out. But if you guys can imagine if we had a sculpture shape like this out, it would we'd probably be here for like two or three hours. Yeah. Or builder deals like this, because they're so long. And then you still have to file the top and everything. I would pay money to see that. And Tony was like, that problem with that music is I would be dancing. And I was like, I want to see that. <laughs> there we go. So we're going to bake this for 30 seconds. Oh, I see one girl, she said that she's getting ombre on Saturday. How exciting is that? I love the ombre nails. And the French. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do our little magic trick. We're going to turn the hand upside down and we're going to do a coat of press-on gel on the inside. This is what we call a hidden thickness. And remember you guys, this is completely optional. But for those of those girls that are really hard on their nails, we're just gonna add a little extra something something to give the nail extra strength. And I like to do it on the inside of the nail, why? Because if you do it on the top, you're gonna have to like Make sure you do a really smooth application. Make sure it's even. You might have to buff it after you apply it. And it's like, no. So when we do this technique, you skip all that because it's hidden. And it's just as strong, actually. Let's turn over this way. Okay, put your hand in, 30 seconds. And then we're gonna do a coat of Wonder Gel or Shiny on top. Because remember, press-on gel does not dry tack-free. It dries sticky. So we gotta make sure it's not sticky, so we gotta put gel on top. And I'm actually out of alcohol to clean my Wonder Gel bottle, so I'll just use this infecting spray. And it's just like Eno Couture. It's made here. By American, support American companies in manufacturing. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Just cleaning off the bottle. Oh, this disinfectant smells so good. Mm -hmm. It smells kind of like baking soda almost. <gasps> Has it been 30 seconds already? I think so, right? <laughs> I think when I lift my hand up. So now I'm going to do Wonder Doll on the inside. And this is going to seal that clear press on gel so that way it's not sticky. And she. So the press on leaves a tacky and the wonder gel is a, gel, a white free gel top coat. And this is just going to seal everything together and make sure nothing peels or anything like that. Really? It's a lot faster. Well, a lot of salons are doing this kind of service now too. 
So now we're gonna bake it for one minute. No, you can do it from the top. Just normal, mm -hmm, because they're clear, so it'll penetrate all the way through. Miss Daryl Harris, all the way from Ian Couture, New Zealand is watching. If you girls live down in New Zealand, Daryl Harris has got you. So we're gonna get a brand new fantastic file. And we're going to take it off. There we go. Oops. You can disinfect it if you want to. Spray it down. I'm just doing that because I like the smell of it. <laughs> Very satisfying, isn't it? But to me, it smells a little bit like baking soda too. Baking soda, baking soda and like kind of detergent. It smells like detergent. I didn't think baking soda had a smell. <laughs> the OGs are here. It's just a disinfectant spray. love BTS. So we're going to line it up. And then we're going to shape these phalanges. And they feel so strong. Watch, tap them really hard so that way you can... Can you feel how strong they are? Yeah, they're so long. <laughs> yeah, they're strong. Like super rock hard. The best way to describe the 123GO system, because it is a soft gel, is have you ever seen during a hurricane, a pine, uh, not a pine tree, a palm tree, when it sways in the wind, it doesn't break but it bends and it goes with the wind? That's the best way to describe soft gel. Yeah. Someone says that they're not long enough. No. People want longer nails and I'm like, well, that's when you sculpt. Or use one of the extra long nail tips and then overlay. Oh yeah, those are really long. Super long. Extra long nail tip is a really long nail tip. And then the other thing too that I get too, I got a DM the other day or it was a message and the lady said, Max, um, your forearm hair, you should get rid of it. I was, like, I was like, I'm a guy. We're supposed to have hairy arms. Well, not supposed to, but <laughs> I'm like, I didn't bother people that much. That's weird. It's like, first of all, what is it affecting us? I know, I guess it was distracting in the video for her. Bless. Because she had nothing else to complain about, I guess. She's like, I'm done judging myself. <laughs> so we're going to take a 240 grit file and I'm going to further refine the C-curve and make them a little bit more snatched. A little bit more overly. Really she yeah. was trying to be really nice about it, so now I was like, should I reply? But I was like, nah, I want four. She was trying to be nice about it? Yeah, she said it was my Facebook messages. How do you... On my personal messages, too. But I don't, I don't know who the person was, actually. In all fairness. seconds if you're curing it more than 10 seconds she's gonna not transfer over because you want it to be super sticky and I've done a few videos with foiling so you should check them out definitely and they're available here on Facebook they're on Instagram and some of them are on YouTube as well too yeah I did a foil on Kelsey yeah I just did one a few days ago
hope I can't hear myself like breathe later when I rewatch this. My sinusitis. I think that music is loud. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time I saw a comment and I remember who said it too. She's like, I can hear you breathe in the videos. Oh, oh I was like, that's because down. the camera's like right underneath my nose. It's like on my mouth almost. It was funny. Consider it a <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Enjoy it, guys. Relax. Relax. Let me take you on a journey. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that crazy how some things can give people anxiety, but other things like the same thing can give people like relaxation, like people eating. Or like people chewing. I know a lot of people are like, oh, I hate hearing it. The sound of people chewing and some people love it. So now we're going to take the buffer off the nail. She just got her order today. Today, thank you, Max. I'll be ordering. Are you excited? That shape is awesome. It's very classy, isn't it? Very different. Very cute. Sam was skeptical about it. Not have or skinny, but that actually looked good. You would apply either a coat of shiny or wonder gel first. Or actually, no, you would um, just directly after you finish the application of the nail and you do your, your uh, refining, apply the Maxi Magic Film Glue, cure it 10 seconds, and then apply your um, foil design or whatever you want, and then do two coats of gel top coat, whether it be shiny or wonder gel. Really? Just goes to show the patience level of some people. Beautiful. There we go. All nice and done. So we're gonna do an ink design today. Very important, you guys. We're gonna apply velvet as the base for our foils. Okay, for our foil, for our ink design. Always, all the time. No matter what you're doing, you always use velvet because it's the most velvet gel, the most matte gel in the world, literally. And it will give the nail that texture, almost like a canvas. Thank you. This velvet gel, you guys, I mean, we hit it out of the park. It sells, like, I think at least 100 bottles a day. It is no joke. The velvet and the shiny are together a lot. It is the most matte gel in the world. And it will not dull. It will not stain like other matte gels. It doesn't peel. So velvety. Oh, there we go. Where did you put it? So we're gonna wipe the side. Okay, we're gonna bake this for one minute inside the dazzling garlic lamp. And while that's baking, I'm gonna start getting my colors that we'll be using. This is the Maxi Ink Set Volume 1. And then I got some on a pass 
pastels here. I'm going to use the lavender pastel because Antonia loves purple. So give her a good shake. Let's use the blank ink as well. Let's use the purple. And let's use... Should we do some green too to kind of make them look like gemstones? I think that'd be really intense. Something very different. So we're going to start out with... I think first the purple one. Give them a good shape. Hi. Yes, we do have curbside pickup available. It's been available for a while already. There we go. Look at that, you guys. You can see how matte these nails are. They almost look chalky. Someone said they feel cool. Like textured almost, don't they? So now we're going to go in with the OG Purple. This is from the Maxi Ink Sets. This is Volume 1. Look how intense that color is. Look at that scent. And that's the cool thing about Ink's designs, you guys, is that there's literally no rhyme or wrong, there's no right or reason. Just have fun with it. This one won't Really? So I'm gonna use the green. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of green because I don't want to like really. I just want a little bit to kind of give it some depth. Now let's use the black. I'm gonna shake it up, make sure it's closed very well. Then it says you make it look so simple and perfect, that makes you look like Easter <laughs> The idea is to have fun with it. When you're doing, working with inks, try not to overthink it, because I think that's everyone's biggest problem when they're working with inks is that we tend to overthink it. So you have to use the velvet if you're going to use the maxi. Yeah, for the best result. Shiny it the no, it'll kind of like, instead of giving a texture to the base, it'll make it spread open. So now we're going to get the lavender ink, give her a good shake, because the pigments tend to settle at the bottom. No, it's all about having fun when it comes to inks. Can be free. So now we're going to take acetone. Where is my acetone? Is it in there? Oh, can you bring it? I need it. Got my crystal dish ready. Let's get a little brush. And you can use pretty much any brush you want to. I like to use a 3D brush, so let's use a gel. Liner, Taylor Magic Acrylic. I want to do a color one. The three one, I'm sorry. Oh, it's in here. Give me one second, you guys. Bear with me. Bear with me. Here she is. Sailor Magic 3D. Which is a 3D acrylic brush, but they're great for doing inks. 
because they hold just the right amount of liquid in them and they also have like a sharper tip so you can really get in there and kind of like play with the design really beautifully. Where'd Samantha go? Samantha! Samantha! Did you find it? Oh, it was in the powder room? I was like, where did she go? Oh, we need to fill that. That makes it spread? Yes, we'll see right now. That's why you put the velvet underneath. This looks cool already. So right now they look interesting, but we're gonna take it to the next level. So take, this is pure acetone, and they're gonna start tapping. And this is gonna create all that shadow and texture in the nail. Is this one or alcohol? That should be the acid. You can see it starts to give the nails some life. And then to get around the cuticle area and get it really, really clean. That's why I like the 3D brushes. So you can use either alcohol or acetone with your Yes, alcohol will kind of blend them together. That's why I think this is alcohol. It doesn't really feel like acetone. Because acetone will really break up the design. It looks very ethereal, doesn't it? Like, um, what would you call it? Like stained glass. Someone says, I wonder what it would look like if you sprayed alcohol on the instead of using it. Well, they dry really fast, so it would not really do anything. You really kind of go, have to go in and kind of break it up apart. The clothes gave me Halloween vibes. Definitely Hocus Pocus. It'll look pretty against the black. Of her dress. Oh yeah, I think it's gonna look good. And then we're gonna add some shimmer. We're going to use, ooh, I know which one. We're gonna use BB Ombre number. Did you dehydrate prime and use the base coat? No base coat, just press on dough. We're going to use, I think, number 49 from the Bunny Castle collection. That. I would be afraid that acetone would break down the nail. No, that's why it has um, velvet gel top coat. And it also has wonder gel on the inside too, too so that way it won't break down. Look how cool that looks. So this is from the Bunny Castle Collection. This is number 49. Doesn't it? It's because it has layers to it. So cool looking.
Do you guys love the pipe? Isn't it a different shape too? It's so unique. Access. Okay, let's go ahead and bake that. Gorgeous for sure. Yeah, this is alcohol. It is? Yeah, do you know how I can tell? This is alcohol because when I put it on the skin, it doesn't turn the skin white. It's like alcohol mixed with acetone. That's why it's not breaking up how I wanted it, but still the design turned out cool. Yes, okay, yes, okay. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Mm -hmm. really cool. Wow. So now we're gonna put Wonder Gel on top. Awesome! We're gonna do another winner today. I'm excited. Are you nervous, Samantha, for picking the winner? Yeah. She's like, the winner is Sessie. Lucy Frank. Jennifer says, love Max. Oh, I love you too. Everyone says, those are really good. I agree with you guys. Yeah. They are kind of Halloween, huh? Unintentionally. And in person, they look even better. Yeah, right now we'll get up close with the camera. It does, doesn't it? It gives me the Ursula vibes. Yes, totally. Because of the green and purple. Mia says, Maleficent and hard lights, please. Yes. Mm -hmm. There are some that already are like that. That collection is everything. The Bunny Castle collection, you guys, don't sleep on BB Ombre and Fun Gels. Okay, now we're gonna bake this for one minute inside of the Dazzling Darling Lamp. And we're gonna do a little bit of bling today because we haven't done a lot of bling in a while for the girls. So we're gonna get Miss Squeezy. No, that's American. It's for Ego. Wanna say hi, Marissa? Marissa's here, you guys, from the micro island nation of Guam. Maybe. Daryl Harris, are you still here? From the beautiful island nation of New Zealand. Kiota, all the way to New Zealand. We're gonna get our bling tool ready. Always warm up the tip. I know, and French too. Our French nails, you guys. It's game over. It really is now game over with the extreme square, the French and the ombre. It's game over. So now I'm going to take this squeezy. We're going to squeeze her on. Jenny says, what's the difference between the Let's see if the pink army remembers because I've answered that question a few times already. Trapper Keeper. Well, I've, I've sent a lot of those. Are those for the bling? Like the... You can use them for anything. I'm using the Play Color Palette. These are our Fairy Stones and Unicorn Opal, which is one of my personal favorites because the Unicorn Opal Stones are no joke. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, he chose them and they're so good. Some of them are black. Antonio, get back to work. Be like, I'm dancing, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm letting out the energy from the currents, from all the currents that I've dealt with today. We started a wall of all the current emails, actually. Push everything towards the center, you guys, because we don't want anything going off. And now we're going to bake it for a minute. Make sure the thumb's in there too, so that way everything dries nice and beautifully and nothing breaks off. And then we're going to finish with some cotton candy chemical oil. What did you guys think of this set? Did you guys love it? It'll be a thousand dollars then. <laughs> oh, geez. She's like, just take it out of my check. Like it's nothing. <laughs> I'm really sure she loves this bag. You love it? Where's my oil? Here it is. Vicky says it just gets better and better. Wait till we start doing sets with the extreme. Ooh, I just got a, a message from, because I'm a member of like a lot of Disney blogs, and the governor of California is fighting with Disney right now. Really? Because he's like, we're in no hurry to open up Disneyland, and people are pressed. They want their Disneyland. So these are completely dry, you guys. So remember, after the hand comes out of the lamp, we're going to wait 10 seconds, and then we're ready to apply our cotton candy cuticle oil. Thank you. Thank you. What do you guys think? What do the girls think? Oh, these nails are actually giving me amethyst vibes. Like legit, super amethysty. Those nails that like look like gemstones and rose quartz. This is what the vibe is giving me. Super. That is sick, mama. So, now comes the harm part. Who's gonna be the winner winner chicken dinner for today? It has to be somebody that hasn't won. Those diamonds really dress it up enough lovely too, doesn't it? It's like your eyeshadow without eyelashes. Your eyelashes. And mascara, not, uh, yeah, mascara, huh?
Yeah. That shape is everything, too. It has to be somebody that lives in America, too. No, who lives in America? Well, we'll ask them. Okay, guys, so who lives here in the U.S. or America? You have to pick somebody random. That's the well, fun part. I don't need to know, but... Well, we put your hands in the thing. So that way everybody can see what we're... Okay, oh, jeez. There's the hard light. There we go. Shannon, do you live here? Cause in tight. Where does she live? She hasn't won, I think, either. Does it sound familiar? What part? Dracula emoji, yes. Where do you live, Shannon? She just said I haven't won before, but she's like, Oh, she's here. Mother, we need to know what part. Where do you live? Tell us, Shannon. Work the hand, pose the hand. In front of the camera though, not for you. <laughs> she lives in Oregon. All right, Miss Shannon. You have 24 hours to message info at enocouture.com and let them know you are today's winner. And that is going to wrap it up for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this demo. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys.